Hello there. Tom Cosm, I have another Max for Life patch for you today. This one is called Dual Toggle. Now this one, what it does is you map two parameters that you choose. It can be anything, volume, sends, uh, device parameters, synthesizers, effect parameters, whatever you like. You map two of them and then you specify a value for when this button is on and when this button is off. And you do that for both of them. So that means you can click on this button and change two parameters at once to something, turn it off and change them back. For example, on this percussion track here, which is number two, we see number two here. I've got this mapped to bring the volume down and turn the send A up. And over, sorry, over on the return track, I've got a big repeat and a ping pong delay. Okay, so I can do this with um, all the kick and the snare. Like so. And I've got all of these mapped with various different things. So let's bring in some bass. And turn that, let, let's turn that to it. Nice, let's bring in this. And this. And this. And let's chuck them all on. Oops. But why, Tom? Why would you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you. The cool thing about this is it accepts MIDI notes. Okay, so let's just think about that for a sec. I've got a MIDI channel here, and I've got a MIDI clip. This MIDI clip has various notes. The notes have to start at C negative 2 and move up. And when I play this MIDI clip, depending on what notes are currently playing, it will toggle off and on those 12 things there. So let's play this and look. So you can basically use MIDI clips and create a whole bunch of different presets, um, if, you, if you want to call them that, um, and have them routed however you like. And you're not just restricted to using volume and sends for these, okay? You can use anything. You can any, anything that um, has um, assignable parameters. So if we go over here, I've assigned the 11 and the 12 um, of those um, module thingies to <laughs> good terminology to the interval and the grid and the um, filter and time of the delay. So if I turn this on. We can also go in here and we can um, add those in as well. Which one is it? Make sure you get the right one. There you go, so that's number 12. second one so there you go that's 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 the basic gist of it um that's just the first kind of example that i've um i've built with this there's heaps of different things you can do i've just made this um i hope you uh can do something cool with it um the first thing that springs into mind is because you can use these midi things here if you set up a drum rack channel and send the midi of the drum rack channel drum rack channel to this dual toggle channel um, what you could do is if you have an Ableton push you could load up that awesome drum kind of um, sequencing mode and you could bust out um, MIDI, MIDI clips and record patterns on the fly to uh, have these tracks all quickly sending to a return track. So if you do something cool with this let me know. If you go to cosm.co.nz um, this will be free. You'll find the link where you can download this on the front page today and in the future it'll be under the Max for Live Toolkit. Alright, cheers guys.